Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about Super Mario Bros. Movie! Well, before I go on, here's a word from my goddamn fucking sponsor! So, I'm going to comment on the trailer. I'm not going to play it much because um, copyright strikes and all that retarded nonsense, but uh, here we go, shall we? Right, it first started with, uh, with Mario. It looks pretty much like Mario and the animation looks pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. It looks very good. And... Uh, Mario, 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 okay. He goes on a... I think this is an allusion to the first uh, first games that Mario and Donkey Kong showed up. Uh, you know, the first arcades in which he had to climb on um, ladders and he would be throwing barrels and eventually he would kidnap Princess Peach and, he, and things like that. Remember those games? Yeah, pretty much found an allusion to that. So far, it looks quite good. But so far, I also haven't seen a Princess Peach being kidnapped. Because that's the whole gist of a Super Mario's game. Of a Mario game. Why am I not seeing that? If you'll excuse my pessimism... I think we've all been burnt with the woke shenanigans that they promise one thing and deliver garbage that we cannot even bother to watch because it's just so much garbage that we, our neurons say, oh, god damn it, no, sir, and we are not going to be subjected to those garbage. Toodles! And leave. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you'll excuse me, this Despite the voices being quite good, despite the characters not having race swaps and not finding a single, single lesbian kiss or a fucking scissoring or a gay kiss, which is a surprise in this day and age, especially on a kid's movie without the fucking groomers around. I'm surprised we haven't seen that yet, but still, still, I'm a bit pessimistic, mostly because it could very well be the average um, trope of the latest 21st century, in which the woman is capable of everything, and she is ghostly queen, and things like that, and she cannot make mistakes, does not do anything wrong, and only the male is a bumbling idiot. It sure is funny seeing Mario suffer and being uh, grabbed by Donkey Kong or other things like that, but nothing like that happens to her, at least in this trailer. So, like I said, despite all the quality, the animation, 
delighting and everything here being good, very good. My experiences with the woke garbage just doesn't leave me with much uh, optimism. Doesn't give me that sensation that it will be okay. It doesn't give me that. And you can see here, and it's funny because uh, he grabs a little tiny little sliver of Luigi's moustache. But uh, what worries me here is that uh, I'm going to go uh, into detail right now, is that it seems to be Luigi who needs rescue, not Princess Peach, which is pretty much not a Super Mario's type of story. It has nearly always been Princess Peach. Like I said, there are things here that gives me faith that this is going to be a good movie. But there are a lot of things here. And previous experience with woke retarded nonsense from Hollywood. That makes me question if this is going to be good or not. It makes me... I don't know. Lose faith. Here it is, the scene that I described. It just... I don't know. It makes me worried. Very, very worried. This thing here kind of reminds me of this uh, Super Mario Bros. 64. The castle in there, so they at least got that right. That reminds me of the first uh, Super Mario Bros. game on Super on SNES, Super Nintendo. This too. And this is uh, her wearing her Mario Kart suit. But you can see her just getting their powerful Super Female and no mistakes, go Slay Queen type of deal. But once again, at least she looks like Princess Peach. She, at least she looks feminine because you can see here she doesn't have boobs, though, which is slightly worrying. But uh, she seems to match at least the drawings and the pixel art and 3D of the games, at least that much. But either way, uh, her behavior seems to be the normal trope of the 21st century, like I said. No mistakes, how powerful, and coming to the aid of a man, and not the other way around. And it reminds me of the old Super Nintendo games, which is very much a plus. Good lighting, excellent, excellent animation. It's funny and all of that, those things, but here, another example why why my faith in this is uh, not not all the way there, and why I have my doubts. Why am I pessimistic? Here it is, him walking, Princess Peach, a toadstool in front. And you see the normal fishes that you are all familiar with if you ever played a Super Mario game. And here you see him getting kissed by one of the fishes. Sure, it happens in the game. Especially if you're careless, that's completely normal, but he only happened to him. And then suddenly she comes, Princess Peach comes to his rescue. In no moment whatsoever in this trailer has Mario rescued Princess Peach. In any way, shape or form. Anywhere. And you can see here, this is why. This is goddamn fucking why I'm so goddamn fucking worried. And why my faith in this is it's just I'm just pessimistic. It doesn't look you everybody here who watches my channel knows how the woke world works, how they do in Hollywood, and all of those things. Hey, Canadian bear. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, oh yeah. How Hollywood works and all of those things, so Chances are of them respecting one of the pinnacles or uh, of the not not the pinnacles, one of the staples of a story of a Super Mario Bros. game. Uh, it's very much nil. As you can see here, here, she is proficient even in the powers. 
she seems to know everything. She seems to be able, to, uh, incapable of doing everything. Uh, she seems to be the one who rescues Luigi. While Luigi needs rescuing, not the other, other way around. This is, like I said, it's worrisome. Very much worrisome. <sighs> I don't know why, but... Uh, Hollywood doesn't seem to understand a few things here and there, but at least there's Mario Kart, which seems to match the games, and for that, congratulations once again. Incredible animation, attention to detail in the characters seems to match the games, seems to match all the media we had about them in the past. But unfortunately, goddamn unfortunately, uh, this story seems to be the thing that worries me the most, because we all know Princess Peach is the one that gets rescued, not the one that does the rescuing in the Mario games. There were multiple games by Princess Peach in which she was the main character in which she did the rescuing. But this is not the Super Princess Peach games and things like that. This is a Super Mario Bros. movie. The title says it practically right here. So we should expect that, not the other way, the, the way around. But, but uh, we get what we can get, because the woke world has a tendency of destroying everything. So this is my quite uh, uh, long review of the goddamn fucking trailer. Is it correct, my assumptions about all of those things? I don't know. The movie is out only on April next year. We'll see then. I am, I don't know, I would say optimistic, but I'm not. I'm quite pessimistic, um, especially with my experiences with the Hollywood. I think I would say I'm 70 to 80% uh, pessimistic on this movie, with 30% being optimistic. Generally on Lightyear, I'll be 100% pessimistic. Red. 100% pessimistic, so this is a win in regards to that. So, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.